Hello, welcome to Mr. CFD. In this video, we are going to analyze and discuss the results of this product, Supersonic Flowover SR-71 Blackbird aircraft in Asis Funnel software. Here, we have the velocity to be discussed. The velocity contour provides insight into the flow field around the aircraft. Regions of accelerated flow are visible over the upper surfaces of the wings and fuselage, while areas of decelerated flow are evident near the nose and engine inlets. The wake region behind the aircraft shows complex flow patterns, including potential vortex formations. The velocity distribution aligns well with the pressure and temperature plots, displaying the interdependence of these fluid properties in supersonic flow. Let's see how pressure is distributed in the domain around the aircraft. The pressure contours reveal significant variations around the aircraft, particularly at the nose and engine inlets. A high pressure region is observed at the aircraft's nose, indicative of a bow shock formation. This is a characteristic feature of supersonic flight where the air ahead of aircraft is compressed rapidly. The pressure gradients are particularly steep near the leading edges and engine inlets, highlighting areas of potential structural stress and aerodynamic importance. Now let's see how shock waves are formed. The pressure and velocity contours clearly illustrated the formation of shock waves around the aircraft. The bow shock at the nose is particularly prominent and oblique shocks can be observed emanating from the leading edges and other sharp features of the aircraft. These shock waves are crucial in understanding the drag and heating generation in supersonic flight. Temperature distribution the temperature contour plot demonstrates the heating effects associated with supersonic flight. Areas of elevated temperature are observed around the nose, leading edges, and engine inlets. This temperature increase is a result of the cinetic energy of the airflow being converted to thermal energy as it is decelerated and compressed. The highest temperatures are localized in regions of maximum flow deceleration, which correlates well with the high pressure areas identified in the pressure plots. This CFD simulation effectively captures the key features of supersonic flow around the SR-71 Blackbird. The results highlight the complex interplay between pressure, temperature, and velocity in high-speed aerodynamics. The formation of shock waves, the heating effects, and the intricate flow patterns around the aircraft provide valuable insights for aerodynamic design and analysis of supersonic aircraft. About the compressibility effects, we can say the significant variations in pressure, temperature, and velocity across the flow field underscore the importance of considering compressibility effects in supersonic flow simulations. The use of ideal gas model for density and the Sutherland model for viscosity appears to have captured these effects adequately. Actually, the use of a pressure-based solver with a coupled pressure-velocity algorithm combined with the ideal gas model has proven effective in simulating this compressible flow scenario. This approach offers an alternative to the traditional density-based solvers for supersonic flow simulations. Further work could involve more detailed analysis of specific regions of interest, such as the engine inlets or control surfaces, and potentially include comparisons with experimental data to further validate uh, the computational model. Hope this video is helpful for you to benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation, and training. Visit our website www.mrcfd.com or contact us via info at mrcfd.com.